Hi, my name's Andrew Harnett from Haas Automation. I've managed to wrangle one of these new bar feeders away from the engineers. I've been playing around with it for the last few days. It's much faster and it's really easy to use. Let me show you a couple of the new features. The original Haas bar feeder was released in 1999, and since then we've learned quite a bit. For example, the new belt-driven trolley system is significantly faster. Now there's no waiting around for slow pushrod retract rates that might bog down your cycle time. The new pushrod system is much easier to use. I just pull this lever back, pull out this bushing, and then on this side, I just push this end past the ball detents. I didn't need any tools for that. Now I can just mount this right up here. It's much easier to use and it's easy to store too. Another great feature with the new Haas bar feeder is how easy it is to get the unit out of the way when it's time to change your liners. With a simple press of this foot pedal, I push the whole body of the unit back. Super easy. Now I've got great access to my liners. So to get this liner out of here, I'm just going to loosen that, spin this off of here. Now I can just pull out this one inch liner and we'll leave the one and three quarter inch liner in there because that's what we're going to be feeding next. Okay, so we're going to stick our smaller liner into this handy tray that we have up front now. This places all of your liners right up front where they're easy to get to. Now if you remember, we used to have our height adjustment wheel back here. That made it a little bit cumbersome and difficult to do that alignment. Now we've moved that up front to right here, right where I can visually see the liner. Makes it a lot easier. So let me show you how easy it is to line up a different size bar. We had a one inch bar in here before and now we've gone to this one and three quarter inch bar. Now I'm going to just manually bring my bar into position here, close enough so I can see where it's at. I'm going to just drop this down. That looks like I've got visual alignment. There we go, all lined up. Since we're over at this end of the machine, let's take a look at one of the most significant improvements on the new bar feeder, this optical sensor. This gives us very accurate bar measurements, so your bar stock lengths are always accurate and dialed in. Before we move to the front of the machine and actually feed a bar, I want to show you one more cool feature. We've added these stainless steel runners to the feed table, and now you can feed round stock, hexagonal stock, or even square stock, and it all slides easily into the bar feeder. The new bar feeder uses the same easy to use interface as the original, but now we've added some helpful icons that tell you when the door is open and when the machine is out of position. So we're going to feed in a bar now. The shuttle's coming forward and make sure there's not a bar in position. Retracts very fast. We're loading in our bar. Now we're going to feed it forward. We measured it. Now it gets it into the spindle. Now we're going to put on our push rod and we're going to push our bar into one and a half inches outside the spindle. Retract our shuttle. Ready to go. So there you have it. All of these features were designed with you, the customer, in mind. The new Haas Bar Feeder is a simple to use and efficient upgrade, saving you time and making you money. Thanks for watching.